blessings and blessings. My name is Preston Smiles. For those of you new to the tribe, new to my vibe, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Hmm, okay. Today's transmission. Two words that you heard as a child that more than likely has messed you up. And I'll say that it's for sure messed me up. Um, not irreversible, but it's been something that I've uh, had to come to grips with and really play the opposite. And in playing the opposite, hello there, good to see you. In playing the opposite, I actually have created um, some wealth. And I don't mean just in my bank account, I mean like, like uh, wisdom, right? Which wisdom and wealth for me uh, go hand in hand. And so, uh, anybody want to guess what the two words are? I'm going to go on just a little bit more just to see if any of you guys can catch it. It's two words that we all heard as a child a lot. Probably 10 million times. I'm exaggerating. Maybe a million. Um, number one, it's good to be alive. Chill out. No, but close. Um, very close. Don't cry. No, but very close. These are every, for those of you jumping on right now, you're guessing the two words that most of us heard as a child a lot that literally screwed us up. John said, stop it. Somebody said, uh, good for nothing. No. Somebody said, don't cry. Somebody said, chill out. No. Okay. Uh, it's okay. Also, thank you for you guys going there. None of these are it. The two words are, and it's so unassuming, and I have done it. I did it yesterday. I, this is why I'm doing this live right now, because I noticed it and I began to think about the clients and the people that I work with to really help them level up, be quiet, no, um, but close. I am creating a coaching program called Unstoppable for coaches to actually beat that $40,000 a year uh, statistic, which is most coaches are broke as hell. And I was thinking about that, and then I was began to think about my relationship with Kingston. And then I began to think about my relationship with my mother and father. And I said something yesterday that I know has been said to me, and I know it's been said to you probably 10,000 times. And those two words are, nope, be careful. Be careful is some of, two of the most dangerous words you've heard. And I use dangerous in a very particular way because that's the exact opposite of what most of us are willing to do. The most successful people in the world are dangerous. They have dangerous ideas. They have a dangerous way of being that create anything, any industry you can find, you will find people who do the opposite of be careful because be careful only creates more, uh, uh, all right? We, we, we begin to get boxed in. I watched myself say it to Kingston yesterday. I went, oh, that's interesting. If I keep saying this, he's, it's gonna seep into his pores. His nervous system and his psyche and all of that is forming right now. He's, he's, he's getting mental maps of the world. What does this world mean? What does it mean? And if I keep telling him, be careful, stop, don't do that, Just be careful. I'm telling him something inadvertently about how to operate as a man. To me, one of the biggest reasons why sex trafficking and porn are as big as they are is because of those two words. So many of us, and not just men, so many of us have disowned that part of ourselves that is fucking wild, that is dangerous, that will go and, and take risk 
and put ourselves so out there that it's scary. We're out on the skinny branches. Ask yourself, when was the last time you actually went further than what was safe in your mind? Right? I, I, I'm so grateful that this is landing for you guys because it's so much real talk. And I begin to look at my life, right? Like legit. And I am not bragging. What I'm saying here, and I want you guys to really let this land. I never, I was 33 living with my mother and I had not made more than $60,000 a year. And not that 60,000 is bad or wrong, but for me and the, the gifts and the talents and the dreams that I have, the, the, um, the bigness that I came here to display, this, it wasn't matching up. It, it wasn't matching up. And I began to take a look at my life and I began to invest in myself and in coaching and mentorship and really going deep. And what I figured out was that I was playing it safe everywhere. Still trying to be a good boy, still trying to be liked, still trying to be loved by people, validated, belong, still trying to get people to like me. And the more I tried to get them to like me, the broker I was, not just in my bank account, but emotionally, didn't feel good. And so I made a decision that if I was going to fall, I was going to fall forward. If I was going to fail, I was going to fail on my terms. And in doing so, I became dangerous. And my danger, right? Jim Rohn, I believe, said, if you make room for your gifts, your gifts will make room for you. I began to make room for my gifts. And a part of my gifts was this wild man that, that was willing to come out to take risks. And I don't mean just like on camera. I'm talking about this stuff that nobody sees. Some of you are in Stretch 22 right now. Some of you who have graduated from Stretch. Stretch 22 is my biggest money maker. And guess what? I'm not doing it again. That's a risk. I'm taking a big risk while having a child and a dog and a wife and a big life. I pay a lot of people's bills and I'm walking away from, I'm walking away from the thing that makes me the most money. Hear it, let it land. It's risky. It's dangerous. And guess what? Because of that, I will go next, 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 next level. And I'll keep doing it. It's a principle. Once we figure it out, once we understand it, right? Success is sequential, not simultaneous. And yet it is simultaneous. Because once you understand the sequential steps, once you understand to, how to go small to go big, once you understand how to put your, your, your eye on the prize and risk, be willing to risk, the whole thing shifts and changes. Is this landing? Is this helpful? I see some of your comments. I appreciate you all. Um, I'm probably gonna hop off in a second, but I just needed to get this off my chest because it was something that I really looked at yesterday. And I started to look around our house and look at all the contraptions that we have to make sure. And of course, our son is safe. And I began to look at this be careful thing and then think about all the people that I've served, all the coaches that I've coached, all the people that I've helped break through. What's really under so much of that is this underlying thing of trying to get the approval of our parents, even if they're dead. Even if they are not on this side of the veil, we're still operating from this careful, good girl, good guy mask that has us hiding out from the gifts and talents and the things we came to dispense to the world. Blah, blah, blah. Blessings and blessings. I hope this landed. Um, if it did, please leave a comment. Um, and uh, yeah, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube don't show you my stuff if you don't comment on my stuff. So for those of you who just kind of pass by, even just a quick yes or thank you goes a long way. Peace, grease, love and light. Love you guys. Peace.